All right. So all the recent talk of uh, uranium glass. Uh, I've got some uranium glass marbles right here. Uh, and I was going to show everybody just how radioactive uh, the green uranium glass is with this here Geiger counter. Uh, but I decided to add a couple of other things. Um, I saw a few comments on people talking about bananas and how, uh, how insanely radioactive they are. Uh, I've got the uranium marbles. I've got two samples of uranium ore, one in each one of these packages. Uh, I've got a Fiesta Ware green plate and a Fiesta Ware uh, reddish orange plate. Uh, both of those were made in the 1930s. In um, 1940s, uh, the U.S. government actually confiscated uh, the uranium supply that Fiesta Ware was using to make their glaze uh, in order to help the war effort and build a bomb. So if you buy Fiesta Ware that was made uh, somewhere between 40s and 50s, uh, it's not radioactive. Uh, and then briefly they brought back the uranium glaze and it was radioactive again. But these ones are from the 30s. They're not from the 60s or 70s uh, when that stuff was made. So uh, let's take a look here uh, at uh, first the banana. And let me just show you the banana for scale. So here it is on the plate. Obligatory banana for scale right there. Um, let's bring it over here. So it's not being influenced by anything else. Now, uh, this Geiger counter, there's always going to be some background radiation uh, in the air. So let's go over here uh, and uh, let's turn it on. So it's on right now. You can hear a couple of clicks coming through. This is all background radiation. Anything that you hear right there. Uh, not a whole lot, right? So if we go back to the banana and uh, turn it on and put it up to this banana. Wow. Oh, it's about background radiation. So this banana is far from being radioactive. There's nothing radioactive about this banana. Now, if you were growing this banana uh, near Fukushima or Chernobyl, then yes, it would probably be radioactive, but not here. So these are the green uranium glass. As you all know, uh, these things uh, glow under UV light. I've got a UV flashlight here, so let's turn it on. Look at those things glow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's take these over and have a little look-see and see how radioactive they are. So they're a little more radioactive in background. Not a lot, though. Uh, green glass, I don't know. You probably safely eat off of it. I guess I probably wouldn't just because of the fact that it has uranium in it. But All right, here's the first sample of uranium ore. Um, So, a little more radioactive than the glass. This sample of uranium ore is a little bit more powerful. It's getting up there. Green Fiesta Ware plate. So there is some uranium. Let me turn it over. It's actually easier to do it on the back side here. Uh, this... I'm going to show you. So not much more than background. Um, apparently this glaze has uranium in it, but if it does, 
it's not very much. Now here's the orange, orangish red uh, Fiesta Wear plate. Interesting thing is uh, when I found these, I went to a antique store with my Geiger counter to make sure I got some radioactive stuff, and I tested some orange red red wing pottery, uh, which was expensive. It was like ninety dollars, so I didn't buy it, uh, but it was about three or four more times radioactive than what I'm going to show you here. Um, and this, I paid nine bucks for this plate, but check this out. So, when this meter beeps, uh, it uh, it's doubling what you see on here. So, uh, 10 millirads an hour is what the max uh, the meter goes to. When it beeps, that means 20 millirads an hour. So, it's actually doubling what this meter can show when it beeps. You see, every time it beeps, that needle just whacks against the side. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would not. Uh, probably would not eat on eat off of these. Somebody clearly did. If you look closely at the plate, there's a lot of scratch marks in there from uh, silverware over the years and and stuff like that. Uh, another interesting thing is that uh, your air filter in your furnace and I just replaced mine and I don't have the old ones anymore so I can't show you this but uh, the air filter in your furnace a lot of the time will be uh, slightly radioactive because what happens is the radon coming up from the ground and it totally depends on your area uh, but the radon coming up from the ground into your basement gets into the air it goes through the air filter uh, the radon is um, uh, degrading into other radioactive elements that can actually be trapped by the filter and caught and then um, and then you can pick it up with the thing. So if you do get a Geiger counter um, you, you might want to check your uh, your furnace filter. Uh, if you've got a lot of radiation in it, uh, it or if it shows up a lot you may want to uh, have a radon test done and uh, possibly get a radon abatement system. Uh, this Geiger counter, I only paid about a hundred bucks for it from United Nuclear. I think they're a considerable amount more now. I bought it maybe seven years ago. Um, this one says RDX Nuclear on it. Um, the rate uranium ore. Um, I also got this from UnitedNuclear.com. Same thing with the marbles uh, and the Fiesta Wear plates. I picked up at a local antique store. So. Uh, same thing if you're looking for green glass antique stores, place to find them.